All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, um, this is what we're doing today. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I guess, unfortunately, th this is a weird time slot, so everybody's going to maybe trickle in, like trickle in, in a little minute, bit over, thing, yeah. over time. Yeah. Uh, I know most of you. Uh, if you don't know me, my name is Zach McDowell. I'm at the University of Illinois, Chicago. I am an assistant professor in the Department of Communication. Uh, and oh, and this picture right here is actually also used as, uh, as an example of lumber sexuality on the on the lumberjack page on the Wikipedia, um, <laughs> which came from a funny conversation with uh, Gina Valentine, where I I joked it was fall, so it's time for lumber sexuals, you know, to and she's like, that's not a thing. I said, well, of course it is. And then there was that on, on Wikipedia. And then it went off to describe this person. And then there was a picture there of this person that did not match the description. She's like, well, you do. And I said, well, there's pictures on common. So maybe you should just, you know, put one there. And so now I am the poster boy for lumber sexuality. I don't have such a claim to fame, unfortunately. <laughs> Much better picture. Though. Or a funny story, but... I do have the confusing and somewhat humiliating name of my institution, which people get a kick out of, which is Indiana University of Pennsylvania. While you're here so in we are So we are a branch of IU all the way out there in Pennsylvania, just outside of Pittsburgh. Not, <laughs> not, not, not really. I just That's my joke part. Cool. But yeah, I'm a professor of uh, language, literature, and writing now since our, our latest merger. Um, but... I've been doing Wikipedia education work for for about twelve years or so, and yeah. and some research on um, kind of policy and and culture of Wikipedia as well. Yeah, we we're actually discussing. We both were the, told that we we're the last trained in person campus ambassadors, campus ambassadors of the public policy of the public policy initiative back before there was a Wiki education. So uh, we've been doing this for a while. And we've written a lot about all sorts of different stuff about Wikipedia and education, uh, but very specifically what we've been focusing on lately, and we, we're, we're writing a book on it right now, is about utilizing uh, not just Wikipedia, but all sorts of different parts of you know, the Wikimedia ecosystem to engage students in open educational practices. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Here's our little agenda. So we're going to go through this. Most of it's going to be for us to talk to each other. So <clears> that's where we're stalling a little bit for more people to come uh, yeah. because they say they're coming. We'll talk a little bit about, you know, what open education practices are and how to distinguish OEP from OER, right? Open educational resources. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the things that we've done in Wikipedia-based edu education, which is where we've spent a lot of our time with students, like in Wikipedia. Um, doing writing, right? Um, but then we're going to shift it to talk about some of the sister projects. Um, and we really want to hear from you all. And we want to brainstorm together about how we can kind of tap into the sister projects to develop open educational practices for those as well. So I guess the first thing I would ask is, uh, how many of y'all are familiar with open educational resources? Like librarians are raising their hands <laughs> excitedly. Now, uh, how many of y'all are really familiar with open educational practices? Uh, this one, guy. One, one, one. All right. So the thing is, so Wikipedia, as we all know, is the largest repository of knowledge that has ever mm -hmm. been created. And it is the largest open educational resource, really. And it can be used that way and in wonderful ways and has been and 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 we all know and love it or else I don't know why we would be here. However, it has even more potential as something to be utilized within project-based learning, which project-based learning, if you're interested in education, is like they've been talking about it forever. Everyone knows project-based learning is great because students, you know, they engage with things, they get their, you know, they get their hands dirty, they're creating stuff. And what we uh, have done, we've got a couple articles about this, about like looking at Wikipedia and the Wikipedia education assignment as an open educational practice and how that transforms just utilizing open resources, which is which are great, 
but into something that becomes more of a transformative practice where students are learning through, uh, uh, through, through doing, and they, are, they, they do something that I, I call experiential epistemology. And, and meaning what the, they're they don't they're not just being told what to do they're experiencing how information literacy practices work right and and through that experience they're gaining a lot more than just the kind of stuff that we get from like yeah. you know traditional kind of teaching right so it's the difference i think what really is important to me in terms of the dis the distinction between OER and OEP is like OER is really thinking about okay, I'm teaching a course in psychology and we're gonna go to a Wikipedia article on a psychological topic and learn about the topic, right? Versus, okay, I'm teaching a course on psychology and we're going to in have students interact with other editors and with the policies because they end up interacting with the policies that other editors invoke when those editors try to say like, actually, you kind of need to do it this way. So that, that second kind of example is the experiential learning or experiential epistemology that we're talking about. And the thing is that obviously when they're doing that, not only are they, uh, are, are they producing something that, you know, in both ways, they're gonna produce either a paper or some sort of like assignment, they're gonna do something. But in this, they're actually engaging with something that, that can then be used later, which creates for them an authentic audience it creates for them uh, a, a an authentic experience of working within that essentially that discipline, right? They're working at the, and it's, this is can help create things like science identity and you know disciplinary identity that can then help, especially with like first generation students where we have a lot of this uh, uh, a lot of problems with instilling that identity with them, which is really helpful for them for, for degree completion and then future, you know, uh, uh, working in the fields. Yeah. But I think that it's important to note that Wikipedia isn't the only kind of open infrastructure that can offer this, right? There's a lot of other opportunities out there. Um, but what students can really get from this is that social interaction, experiential learning, and if we can do it right, um, they can kind of contribute to knowledge in the digital commons as well. Yep. So this is kind of, I mean, this is sort of self-explanatory here, but this kind of shows you the kind of process of when we're thinking about what's going on when we're teaching with Wikipedia, right? When you do that kind of uh, switch to essentially swap out a paper for uh, writing uh, Wikipedia or, or, or heavily editing or expanding a Wikipedia article. They're going through this kind of process. And what you're seeing here is is kind of like how one thinking about unpacking. What we're going to do a little later is we want to bring you through a thought exercise about working with other projects and, and try to get you to think about kind of, you know, if you're editing a Wikipedia page, these are the, a lot of the processes that you're going through, right? And we want to think about what are these processes that we're bringing the students through. Those are the ones that we went through when we learned how to edit, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, like thinking about this is like a step, right? Yeah. And then what are you learning through each of these steps? Because you're when you're looking for gaps, you're not just like that's that's actually really important, and it, it transfers to a lot of other different kind of. Uh, 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 disciplines, but it's a specific skill where you're able to not just like in, engage with uh, the, the the material, but you're able to see and and examine where there needs more information. Mm -hmm. It's a it's different. It's a a very specific research skill, right? But the, I think the larger point too is that like with Wikipedia based education, and and Ian had a good talk about this, you know, the, the, the assignment and kind of where it's come and, and how it's changed over time. But with Wikipedia based education, there is a lot of research, there's consensus, there's best practices, there's like a way that we've kind of agreed that this is probably going to work best if we do it for at least six weeks, this is probably going to work best if we really focus on them finding good sources and building an annotated bibliography, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a kind of a, a way that we can agree 
um, that it's going to work for students. Right. And we want to be able to try to do the same kind of thing for some of the sister projects. And we want to think through and talk with you all about like what are those processes that you go through? How can we take those? What are the challenges of taking those and, and introducing them to students, et cetera? Right. And, and, you know, and one of the things is that there's already great work going into utilizing Wikipedia in the classroom. You know, obviously, Wiki Education, there's thousands of uh, uh, folks who have been uh, teaching with that. You know, Matt and I have been doing this for over a decade each. And what we want to be starting to think through is what are some other ways that we can take what we've learned there and what with the knowledge that you have and be able to start generating some of these kind of lessons and potential uh, interactions with the different sister projects so that we can then bring those to teachers as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think that it's, I think Wikipedia, because it is so highly trafficked and because it is so visible, like there's, um, there, there's, there's capital there for students, right? That's why they become so motivated because it's something that they all go to or that they, you know, visit daily. So to be able to make a change in that ecosystem is a big deal, right? But there's a trade-off. I mean, it also means that it can be very difficult often for students to make a meaningful edit that is not reverted. Um, and I think that English Wikipedia, especially the types of articles that students often want to write about, if you leave the topic open, are very popular articles, right? That's why they want to write about them. Um, so, so many things are already well covered in Wikipedia that there are opportunities, I think, for us to explore sister projects. Um, so English Wikipedia has a high learning curve. It's the most well-developed of the projects. Um, and I think there are some, some opportunities where there's not as much bureaucracy, especially in terms of the number of policies that students have to learn and navigate if we start to move beyond Wikipedia into some, some of the other sister projects. Right. So what we'd like for you all to do, because there's not a ton of people here. That's okay. Yay, Saturday, Sunday mornings. Um, maybe if we could get some of the folks that are a little in the back to kind of join up and we can get a couple of conversations going, uh, or if you yeah, want to like- Yeah, groups of three or something. Yeah, groups three or four, whatever. Uh, we'd really, for, you know, like, I know, and, and this is the, the also the difficulty is like, I mean, how many all work on different sister projects? Awesome. Okay, Perfect. good. <laughs> I, I'm so glad that, that you all raised your hands. Because what, what we'd like for you to do is then think through kind of like that, what we were talking about earlier. What are the steps that you do in those sister projects, right? How do you participate? And then what motivates you to participate? Mm -hmm. you know, what are you taking away from it? What, what, what drives you in there? And then... And then think through those steps. Think what are the skills that you had to develop to 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 participate well. Yeah. What are what are the types of thinking that you were doing? And there's no wrong answer here. The the idea here is we want to be generative to start thinking about the, these processes and how the experts right. We are these are, I mean, experts on Wikimedia projects here how the experts are doing it so that we can try to kind of interrogate and think about it backwards so we can then kind of start to scaffold stuff for young learners who haven't been doing it, right? How do we take what we've learned from uh, from teaching with Wikipedia to use that for, you know, Wikisource or, you know, uh, Commons or Wikidata? And how can we start to kind of get students involved in a variety of different ways that might take up a little less time in some things or might be better for stuff like biology you know or mm -hmm. or information science that might we might be able to kind of like spread that out a little bit more mm -hmm. so it doesn't like it's not as heavy of a load yeah. so feel please... free to like yeah talk with each other definitely um, but also feel free to get on the, ether. you can get on the ether pad to take notes if you like from uh, the program. If you click on our link, you can get a link to the ether pad. 
we can also write some stuff on these whiteboards. I think there's plenty of markers and things like that. But yeah, if you've just joined us, we're kind of asking people to um, get into groups of like two or three or four and yeah. have some so, discussion about the way they might contribute connect with each to other projects. Come be 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 friendly. Yeah. <laughs> And we'd like to just like, and, and and we'll go around in a little bit, but like just, you know, try to use these kind of questions as a guideline and think about some of these so that we can kind of like bring that back and like continue this conversation. Mm -hmm.